Hello, good evening boys and girls. My name is Paula and I'm going to tell you a bedtime story this evening based on an African folk tale. The Adventures of a Jabba, retold by me. Many years ago, um, stories used to be told under the moonlight in the village square. You'd have mum and dad and the grandparents and aunts and uncles as well as the children after a meal and they'd sit down outside under the stars and listen to the stories. A lot of the stories were um, handed down by way of mouth and obviously there was no electricity so there was no TV, no radio, no PlayStation. The storytelling was quite important. Now this particular character that I'm going to tell you a story about is a tortoise called Ijapa and um, Ijapa was very witty and cunning, always up to mischief. He was also quite lovable too. And the first story I'm going to tell you is about how he broke his back. Here's a picture of him. Long ago, all the animals were friends. They walked on two legs, they talked, they ate, and they behaved just like people do today. Jaffa the tortoise was known as one of the cleverest of all the animals because of his quick and cunning ways of thinking. Now this is the story of how he broke his back and why to this very day you can still see the pattern left on his shirt. Every year the birds had a meeting in the sky. Every year this meeting was followed by a big feast and everybody wanted to be invited. Well, one year, Ijapa received an invitation to be the special guest at the birds meeting in the sky. Here's the invitation. We have great pleasure in inviting Ijapa to be the special guest at this year's meeting in the sky. It's signed by the chief of the birds, Orioli. He's also one of the elders. Now he had chosen Ijapa to be the special guest because he knew of Ijapa's reputation for being quick thinking and clever. Well, we had birds of all shapes and sizes and colors give a few feathers each to make Ijapa his very own pair of wings. How exciting. Can you imagine having a pair of wings and being able to fly? Anyway, the birds wanted their special guest to look like them and fly like them on the day of the meeting in the sky. And everyone was really excited. Look at how colourful the birds are. And here you see Ijapa with his beautiful wings. Everything went according to plan. Ijapa's wings were beautiful. Ijapa could not stop looking in the mirror and preening himself. Ijapa's wife, the Anibo, and all the other animals said that Ijapa looked very grand indeed. They secretly wished that they had received an invitation and a beautiful pair of wings as well. On the day of the meeting in the sky, all the animals were dazzled by the brilliant colors of Ijapa's wings they looked just like a rainbow. There was the sound of sweet melody as the birds flapped their wings and called out to each other on their way to the meeting. Ijapa had his very own guide for the journey. It was so exciting for Ijapa to fly. At the meeting in the sky, Ijapa made a speech to all the birds. Everyone listened to him eagerly. Some whispered to one another about how wise Ijapa was and how lucky they were that Ijapa was their special guest. In his speech, Ijapa told everyone to choose a nickname. It sounded like a good idea, and so all the birds chose nicknames for themselves. The nickname that Ijapa chose for himself was everyone. The meeting was going well. It's 
sweet cooking smells floated into the room. And the Jaguar and all the other guests started to feel hungry. They fidgeted as the waiters brought in steaming dishes of delicious food. As the waiters laid a dish on the table, they said, This is for everyone. The parrot and swallow were about to help themselves when Ijapa pointed out that the dish was actually for him. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, for everyone. Then, to the surprise of all the birds, Ijapa greedily gobbled it all up. The waiters came in with more delicious food and each time they said, this is for everyone. Ijapa remembered his manners and repeatedly said, thank you before tucking into the dish. Gurioli and the hungry birds looked on, upset and annoyed. It was very well known that Ijapa was greedy, but nobody had thought about the result of his greediness. By the time Ijapa had eaten what he wanted, there was almost nothing left. There you see, he's got a very big tummy and you can see the crumbs left on the table. The birds were angry and very hungry. They began to leave one by one. As they left, they removed the feathers that they'd given to Ijapa. Ijapa was stranded in the sky. Ijapa could no longer fly. How could he get home now? Suddenly, he had a brilliant idea. Hmm. He saw Cuckoo perched on a tree nearby and he said, Cuckoo, will you take a message to Yanibo, my wife? Tell her to bring all the soft mattresses, cushions and pillows out of the house and pile them on the ground so that when I jump down from the sky, I will not hurt myself. Hmm, sounds like a great idea, doesn't it? Well, Cuckoo said that he would deliver the message to Yanibo. However, Cuckoo knew what Ijapa did at the meeting in the sky and he thought that somebody should teach Ijapa a lesson. And so he decided not to give Ijapa's message to Yaniba. Instead, Cuckoo just flew away and he never came back. Oh dear. What happened next, do you think? The birds all gathered round to see what would happen. <laughs> Ijapa jumped down from the sky. There were no soft mattresses, cushions or pillows. And so he landed on the hard ground. Poor Ijapa. He broke his shell into lots of little pieces. Yanibo, Ijapa's wife, had to stick the little pieces together again. The tortoise still has the same pattern of pieces on its back. Have you noticed this? Next time you see a tortoise, have a closer look. What's the moral of this story? Just in case you're not sure, I'll tell you. The moral of the story is if you play tricks on other people, someone is likely to play a trick on you. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed this story. Come back and visit us another time. For now, good night and sweet dreams.